just making a couple of adapters. Customer wants two of these uh, threaded fittings welding onto the end of a short piece of 40mm diameter tube. These are designed for welding onto inch and a half OD stainless steel tube. This is inch and a half OD and that gets butt welded onto the end of the tube. But he wants it welded onto the end of 40mm tube which is um, two millimeters bigger inch and a half is 38 mil so I'm going to be using a tool I've made which is tapered inside it's uh, 40 millimeter diameter this end and it tapers down inside to 38 millimeter diameter the other end So I'll be pressing the tube into that and that will reduce the diameter of the tube to suit the fitting. As it is at the moment this actually just fits inside of the tube. Tube's only one mil wall thickness. This is one point five wall thickness. Cut the tube off to length. I've smeared the end of it with copper grease, and I've smeared the inside of the collar with copper grease. Now I'm going to um, press that into there. Press that through. You can see the taper on there. It's a five degree taper. And there's a short section at the end there which is parallel 38 mil so that'll line up with the fitting need two of those These fittings have to be purged internally with argon whilst they're being welded. I shall be using a turntable I've made. Um, argon gas is fed up through the middle of the turntable, comes up through this pipe, and uh, the argon comes out of six little holes in, in that hexagon. So um, that'll be clamped on there. The tube will stand on the top and be blanked off with masking tape this end with a breather hole in it. Just need to set the welder to suit the job. Two seconds slope up. Um, set that about 40 I think. Two and a half seconds slope down, finishing at four amps. And um, 1.5 seconds of argon at the end. Tungsten diameter, 1.6. Right, that should do it.
Got the fitting clamped on the turntable. Just purging this inside. Got masking tape to cap the end off with a breather hole in it. I won't be using any filler wire. I'll be fusing the two together. The uh, fitting itself will need a bit more heat than the tube. So the the arc will be directed more onto the fitting than the tube. I'll be rotating this with my left hand and it'll be one continuous weld. Got that welded. That's where the world started and finished. Got those cleaned. Just put two new seals in. So that's our job finished.